Hey, it's Scott Kubo. So Tesla software version 10 is upon us. I haven't noticed that much difference in the way it handles highway driving, but have noticed that it will move over to the side as you pass uh, large trucks. So here I'm going to uh, overtake this uh, truck on the right hand lane. Uh, we'll bring up the view of the side of the car so you can see the lane lines better. And as we're coming up, you'll see that it shifts just slightly over in its lane to the left and gives that truck a, a nice uh, a margin in the lane. And then recenters in its lane after it's passed the truck. Um, so for those of you who have used autopilot or will start using autopilot, it does, it in not pass has felt very weird because it feels like the car gets really close to uh, trucks, but it's actually just staying centered in its lane it's just we as drivers naturally move over when we come by uh, close to a truck um, as you can see autopilot doesn't move over uh, when a regular vehicle or car is beside us uh, so this is only for large trucks and i will say it feels a bit heuristic in its behavior um, it's hard to see this in the video but when you're driving you can really feel it kind of definitely kind of move over at a certain point as it's approaching the truck and then kind of slightly abruptly move back in directly into the center. So here we have another truck that we'll be overtaking in a little bit. We'll get to see this again. And we're going a good speed about 60 miles per hour or uh, 90 uh, kilometers an hour. And I have this in regular autopilot, so this is just auto steer, lane keeping, and uh, adaptive cruise control. And you can see the two line, lane, lanes, lane lines on either side are highlighted blue. And there you can see it just moves over in the display and gives that uh, truck uh, some, some space. And it's really getting close to the line on the left. And you can even see that on the display pretty clearly. And then boom, uh, moves right over directly into the center of the lane again. So pretty cool um, that it's doing this uh, and behaving more like uh, us human drivers do. So here we're doing a manually initiated auto lane change. Um, and, and currently you do have to have the full self-driving package in order to have automatic lane changes. And so here we're overtaking a truck, a slight curve, and if you look at the steering wheel, you can see it just slightly turn to the left and gets us along the left side of the lane line, and then there's a slight movement of the steering wheel back to the right as it uh, recenters in its lane. So it's not quite as smooth as a human driver. Uh, you do notice it a bit, but it's, it's actually quite good. And interestingly here, you can see this truck is overtaking us and um, when it does that, uh, the autopilot does not move over. It just still stays center in the lane. So maybe this only works when you're actually overtaking a truck, not just a truck is uh, next to you. So here we're going relatively slow. We're, you know, under uh, 30 miles per hour or 50 kilometers an hour. And we've got this truck coming up here on the side. Uh, you can see that it sees it way in advance and we'll just look at the display very closely here and yeah it's, it's dead center um, doesn't move over for these trucks uh, we're going relatively slow and so it seems that at slower speeds it actually does not move over now we're passing on the right because we're in an exit lane we're getting off and so as we bypass this truck um, doesn't look like it moved over it just stayed right centered and there's a vehicle stopped on the shoulder over here and it of course won't move over uh, when it passes this vehicle but that would be a good feature to have so this guy up here is really right in the line we'll see what happens oh man that's close uh, but autopilot stays dead center so it seems like when you're passing on the right well it only works when you're uh, overtaking on the left and I'm assuming that's reversed in countries uh, where the cars are right hand drive but let me know what your experience is. Now we've got a lane splitting motorcycle coming up from behind and so it doesn't move over for uh, motorcycles that are lane splitting, but maybe that's possible in the future. One cool thing about V10 is the dash cam now records the rear facing backup camera so we can get this comprehensive view of what autopilot might be seeing and how hard it might be or easy it might be to identify motorcycles that are lane splitting coming up from behind. I forgot to mention that this is uh, version 2019.32.11. 
B10 also brought the ability to stream Netflix uh, when you're at a charging stop and karaoke mode uh, while driving. This is, the, I can tell you from personal experience, this is great during a road trip. Um, more videos to come as we get more updates and more features. Okay, well, that'll about do it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of new videos. And if you're researching to purchase a Tesla and you found uh, these videos helpful, um, click on the link and get yourself uh, free supercharging. As always, I enjoyed having you along for a drive. Hope you have a really great day and see you in the next video.